You talk about it, uh, let's start with Fox. Shame on Fox. They're, that's the, they're the best example we have this week. You haven't said when that they, this week. Last week when they wouldn't even uh, put up the ad for this event. Only one in the country turned it down. You know, and that's your, that's all your bad media left free, ABC, CBS, and shut it down. That's her first, that's, that's part of it. First Amendment rights, first free speech. And that's why we have frankspeech.com. You know, they're still attacking out there. I get this thing from the, from the facts, Facebook fact checkers going, asking about the data. He, apparently right. he didn't watch the beginning of the show today. You know, Martin, if you're out there watching and Alan Duke, Hey, you need to re you need to watch. You need to you should have watched the whole thing to get all the facts before you start an attack again. And, and instead of everybody like he did, Alan missed. just said, instead My, of attack, talk about it. He, Dominion. And I said, you know, before all your states, all 50 states that are represented here need to go back to your states. And at least you paid for these. We paid for these machines in our country. All and it's all machine, not just Dominion. Go back there and demand that your state look at the machines. It's that simple. Go back and say, well, open up your machines. No, they do look at them. They just don't make it public because if they did, everyone would know how to hack the thing. Dead. It's crazy what they're doing. Yeah, what's all this secrecy ab around bank pin numbers? Why don't your elected representatives post their pin numbers on a website? How am I supposed to know if I can't check their bank accounts personally? We don't have a voice. And the media has done it to me every way. Attack? And you heard him up there. You heard, what did he say? He said, at least you want to you talk to Mike, attack you, Mike, whatever you want to do. But do something. Let him talk. That's where I say all the bad media. At least they attack me and I get to talk. Right? I get to say, they'll put little snippets in. I got to kind of a Not deal Fox, with them all. Though. You quote me on this and you can attack me all the way around it. Shame now, today it's different. They're not even calling me before they're attacking. You know, they're not even calling to say, hey, Mike, did you, you know, ask me questions. No, they're just digging in because they want something. Well, no, they can watch the whole thing live, so they don't have to ask you. Did you really say this? We heard you said this. They don't really need to check. They have video. Yeah, they're not calling. The one that just called, though, was, or that reached out was the Facebook fact checkers that do more damage than anyone in our country. They cover up an opinion on Facebook and Twitter. We all learned yesterday from Dr. Shiva, who was right at the bottom of that. By the way, somebody is totally COVIDing, you know, COVIDing in the background. Um, and no, they don't cover up opinion. Oh, oh, they, oh. What happened? Okay. To the journalists out there. It's football in the background. We are, you're attacking our First Amendment right of free speech. Fox, where are you? Where are you, Fox? They got a voice. They're in uh, court. Uh, trying to avoid being sued for $1.3 billion. Why should we watch them? I'm serious. Why should we watch them? Because they support all your ideas and all your principles and all your ethics and all your stuff. They just can't step in certain areas where it will get them taken off the air because then there would be no one to represent your personality. Hear people. You can hear us. I appeal right now. Don't anybody watch Fox go to OAN and Newsmax. We got to start doing it that way. Play their game. All the box stores that came after my pillow, from Costco to Bed Bath & Beyond to Kohl's, all these stores. It's Bed Bath & Beyond, not or beyond. That would be a Sophie's choice. Depressing it. The cancel culture. I was front and center. Every box store, every shopping channel from QVC to HSN, Shop HQ in Minnesota, all of them. Now, did they, were they cowards? Yeah, they were cowards. But they, you know, but they didn't want to be the bots and trolls. And these weren't even real people attacking them. And we've heard all this shit before. By the way, uh, let's not forget that in this little rant, he's telling you to cancel Fox. Put a list up. I get done with here. I'm, now that I'll frame speech for the voice, I'm going to list off every box store. Costco tried to slide under the radar. When they did it, I had people that worked, families that worked at Costco Shores for like 11 day road shows. That's all they had. They went show to show for years for Costco. And they said they didn't cancel right away. They said, we're going to honor our contract. As soon as they, it was kind of quiet on the box stores canceling, Costco comes out and cancels us. All them people lost their jobs immediately. Now, we had to look for other jobs for them. I had to come up with stuff they could do and pay them because I didn't want to lose their livelihood, their jobs. Because Well, maybe uh, one of the things you could have done, Mike, 
is uh, step down as the CEO of my pillow, let someone else run it, don't use it as a money making scam to make to and to pay for this shit, use your own personal funds, and then no one would have taken it out on my pillow. You, you know, you see how that about the election, you better shut up or you're going to be brought away because you were part of something on January 6th. And the media just did it, put into it. There's still people in jail for that, in prison, I guess. I, I, I don't know for the fact, but I believe there is. You don't hear. Well, I mean, I think if there's a statement that sums up this entire thing, I don't know for a fact, but I believe there is. There you go. That's the whole weekend. You're going to come and get us all? People that weren't even there, I wasn't there. They keep, you know, that's a, what a blessing because they would have said, you were near there, you were near there, we're hauling you in. They would have been the first one. I'd still be in jail with them if it happened. No, you wouldn't. Nobody knows what happened there. Really knows because they don't show us. Could just think of that suppression. They don't show us anything. You seen all that stuff that day? It's just, it's bizarre. And, but you know what? They can feed us anything they want if they cancel our voice. What Alan just said there, if you're only here on one side, here's a liberal Democrat. That's why he told- Mike, here's a, here's a good idea. I'm just gonna throw this out there to everybody. Um, just maybe consider this. Uh, it's a thought, work with me. Think with me, Mike. Uh, let's say um, you go talk to some people who were at Trump's speech on January 6th, didn't go to the Capitol, and see if any of them are in jail. Let's, how about that? Find some people who, after the speech, walked the opposite direction from the Capitol and somehow got arrested. Go find one of those people, one, who was ne didn't FaceTime themselves taking a shit on Nancy Pelosi's desk, didn't break something or steal something, didn't smash a window, didn't gouge a cop's eyes, none of that stuff. They literally watched Trump's speech and then went to Kramer Books and had a lovely meal. It's a good place, I recommend it. Um, and then went home to Idaho. Find one of those people and then you'll have a point and we'll have a conversation. Psst, you won't. We have to do that. And we're gonna have the, re the re rest of our, a lot of our program now, we're gonna dive into Dominion, the stuff Very they're sorry. hiding. You're gonna see those people this afternoon, last night at 10 o'clock. That guy, did, that guy he, he didn't do anything didn't do in anything. Colorado. His house got raided at 10.30 by the government, came in his house and took everything in front of his four kids while he was here. They're attacking Tina, Tina Peters as we speak too. This is, uh, this is, all the stuff that happened with here, anything. everybody used They didn't do anything, Mike, anything. They didn't do, that's a big statement. They didn't do anything. They might tell you they didn't do anything, Mike. Should you believe them? Have you checked with Gateway Pundit? Uh, oh, wait, he's CIA. Just open it up. I got all this evidence. They compromised that. So you know what? So here, now maybe compromised. they'll quit attacking me physically because I'm going to give it to these guys, these red, red line, let them red team them, take, them to take care of it. Maybe yeah. I'd be protected. You know what I had to do for three months? I had what? to get on the bad news and say, hey, I'm not in Minnesota to protect my family. I couldn't go home for three months and see my grandchildren. I had to buy a house, a house that was in a protected gated community when I had other houses where nobody knew what I would be. That, that took about a week and people see me and then the report goes out. You know, these guys, it, it's very evil. You weren't able to buy another house? Boo fuckity who.